Hi everybody and welcome to the getting started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you what the text commands are used for and how to create them. These are the three text commands I've created in the configuration I use. They output my social links. When triggered, the message will be sent into Twitch chat, in this case, an invitation to my Discord. As I want the commands to always be on, even if I'm not playing a game, I have toggled always on to on. If you only want the text commands to be active when playing a game, you could attach it to a profile link to that game instead. You can see that the discord link command can be triggered when the user types exclamation discord in chat or automatically every 10 minutes as long as there have been at least 10 messages in chat from non ignored users. In my case, I have ignored Stream Elements and Stream Labs, so any message they write in chat will not count towards the 10 message minimum. This gives you a brief overview of how to set up a text command. I'm now going to switch over to my tutorial configuration and walk you through how to create the Discord link command in more detail. Press the Add button. You should set the name and description to something appropriate for the command. In this case, I'm going to name it Discord link and describe it as I'll put a join my Discord message into chat. The active application required dropdown controls that the command will be executed when the active application has input focused. You can choose required, unrequired, or default. Required will ensure that the command is only executed when the active application has input focused. Unrequired will not check to see if the active application has input focused and instead just execute the command. Default will resolve to required or unrequired depending upon the command type. In general, text commands don't require an active application, so they default to unrequired. As I want the standard behavior, I can leave this on default. Always on controls if the command is considered active, even if not contained within a profile attached to the active application. As I want the command to always be on, and I am not going to attach it to a profile, I'm going to toggle this on. Public controls if other users of InstructBot can download the command. If you want to share this command, toggle it on. The message contains the text which will be output into chat. I want to output my Discord link, so I'll put that and the message in here. The cooldowns control how often the text command can be executed. The global cooldown applies to everyone, whereas the user cooldown is per viewer. For example, if you set the global cooldown to 5 and the user cooldown to 60, the command can be executed at most once every 5 seconds, but a single viewer will be able to execute once every 60 seconds. As I don't want the command to be triggered more than once every 5 seconds, I'm going to set the global cooldown to 5. I also don't want the same user triggering it multiple times in quick succession, so I'll set the user cooldown to 30 seconds. The help settings control if the command is shown with the default help command or a specified help command. As I don't want this command to be shown in my help commands, I'm going to leave use default, untoggled, and the specified help command set to none. The queue settings control how the command is executed. By default, a text command is executed on the parallel queue. As I don't require any sequencing and don't care if the order of text commands are maintained, I can leave this on use default and have it execute on the parallel queue. If I wanted to maintain the sequence of text commands, I would instead have to toggle off use default and then switch the type to sequential. The commands would then be executed as they were queued. The sound effects settings control what, if any, play sound commands are run at the start and end of this command. I don't want any sound effects, so I'm going to leave these on none. As I've toggled on always on, I don't need to add the command to a profile. I want the command to be executed when a user types exclamation discord in chat, so I will set that as the identifier. So that users can execute the command for free, I will also add a free trigger. To enable the command to be sent to chat every 10 minutes, I'm going to add a timed trigger, setting the frequency to 10 and the minimum message count to 10. If I had left the minimum message count at 0, there would be no checks to see if anyone else has sent a message in chat before executing the command. Please note, InstructBot will only count messages from non-ignored users. The only thing left to do is enable the text command so that it can be used. And then press apply to save the changes. This wraps up how to create a text command. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, or join our Discord.
Links to both the Discord and website are in the description below.